This is Twit. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. The training industry's completion rate is barely 30%. ACI Learning blows its competitors away with an over 80% completion rate. Don't settle for subpar boring training. This is what IT pros want. Fill out the form at go.acilearning.com slash twit for more information on a free two-week training trial for your team. Now it's time. Now it's time for, for the, you uh, to hack. Hey, who stole my flipper? <laughs> Flippa. So you might have seen you might have seen the uh, Kickstarter for the Flipper, which is uh, well. It's funny the Kickstarter for the Flipper Zero was multi-tool device for hackers. Now at the Flipper Zero shop, they call it a multi-tool device for nerds. It is true that in some places like Brazil, they've confiscated these as hacker tools. Mm -hmm. They're, I mean. Look, you can use any Arduino, right? any Raspberry Pi, and do the same thing. This is, but let me show you. This is such a cool device. This is the Flipper. And, you know, uh, they've made it kind of fun. So Flipper like the Dolphin Flipper, right? In fact, there's even uh, there's even a, a snake game on here. So if Custom says, what is that? You say, oh, it's just my little game. <laughs> I just it looks like a little game. <laughs> Electronic pet toy. <laughs> Right? Where PET stands for... Multi-tool educational device. This, I would give this to a a teenager, like a 13 or 14-year-old. This is for the 14-year-old in me, who is inquisitive. Mm -hmm. They're not going to be able to do anything awful with it. Um, but they are going to be able to simulate some bad things. Surprise. And learn how they cord. work. It's just a USB cable. No, it's not. Here's the flipper. Now, the first thing you're going to do when you, when you get your flipper... Out of the, pry it out you of the can. box. That's the first test. <laughs> Will you pass the first test and wield the flipper? First thing you're going to do is you're going to download for iOS or Android the flipper software because the flipper, flip, flipper, the flipper software is how you update the firmware and so forth. And it uses a Bluetooth to, uh, to pair it to the device. Okay. Then the next thing you're going to do actually before you even download the update is put in an SD card. You don't need a big one. Four gigs is plenty. It's just storing a few things on there like the, like the firmware. So once you've done that, and by the way, every flipper gets a cute name. Mine's Yuki Ox. Oh, but if they're all random names, once you've done it now, let me show you the flipper. What it really is, is a device with a lot of radios. See, it has, there's an infrared port. Uh, it's got a lot of radios and it has a GPIO bus. So there's actually a brisk market in Flipper Zero hats. You know, like with a Raspberry Pi, you can, um, like this hat's called the Mayhem hat. Oh my, <laughs> what kind It adds mayhem? a camera, it adds Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support, it adds a whole bunch of extra stuff. And you just plug that, you see that plugs right into the pins on top here. But the way it comes out of the box, and I think for a kid... Now, it's a little pricey, 169 bucks. Uh, people have been asking me, where'd you get that? I thought you couldn't get it. No, you can get it. I just ordered it, and it came like a couple of weeks later. Uh, it does have, if you look in the applications folder, it has some. It has a game. You can you can actually put Doom on this. <laughs> I wouldn't, course. you know, but but, Doom on but, it, but the, the snake game is what you use if you, you know, you get, you know, some. some. I'm just an innocent little If a Mountie playing, comes over and says, what is that? Playing snake is I'm all. I'm just playing snake. That's all I'm doing. Um, but there is a lot more to this. The main idea of this is the radios, okay? So it can emulate a FIDO U, uh, two factor, universal two factor. Okay. It can do bad USB. It can be a button. It can be GPIO. Whoops. Oh, oh, I shouldn't have pressed that button. Flipper crashed and was rebooted. All right. It can be um, an NFC. You know what? Give me your, do you have your um, yeah. key card to get into the. Oh, wait. No, actually, I, I have I mine. Usually I'll do, do mine. But I I'll do mine. Didn't bring my bag. I'll in. do mine. So it's rebooting. Let's go to the 125 kilohertz RFID. That's what a lot of these uh, card keys use to get into buildings and stuff. This is why you don't leave your car key lying around, right? So we use it. We have a little button, but you know, it will work with anything that's using the 125 kilohertz. You can read. So I'm just going to press read. See, it's blinking, and I'm going to put it right there. Eh, eh. Reading, 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 reading. Don't move card. Don't move card. Reading one of two. 
There it goes. Now it's read that card. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to save it. Uh -huh. Okay. And now uh, this, it gives it a random name. You can name it. What do you want? It's right now. It says concealed, conceited portal. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter what you call it. Right. It's just so that you can name it. You could name it the card to get into twit. Right. Okay. Now. Let's exit this menu. Should I go? Should I actually go? Let me. Can you can you get into Twit with? Yeah, it? watch. So now, I, so my keys are gone. Uh -huh. I only have the flipper zero. Okay. Let me let me get up. I gotta disconnect and do this, and I'll go lock myself out. Oh my! I don't have to worry about the doorbell anymore. Yeah, keep because... that unplugged. If he can't get in, we're not letting him back in. <laughs> so he better flipper better work. They call it flipper. All right, let me show you how this works. Ah! <laughs> Okay, so let's see. First thing I gotta do is go back to the 125 kilohertz RFID, and this time I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, look at my saved ones. Here it is. Now watch. I'm gonna emulate that on this door. So don't let me in, no matter what I say. So maybe you better. It worked! Look at that. So I was able to emulate that door entry key using uh, the flipper zero. You see, it's still blinking. I could get into uh, anywhere that that door entry key uses. Pretty cool, huh? All right, I'm back. Okay. So oh, you did it! It worked. Yeah. That's kind of scary. It's actually pretty. It's actually pretty easy. I'm gonna do something I haven't tried before. So anyway, it has a, a bunch of different radios in it. Again, I think you could give this to a 14-year-old. Yeah. Because it's not going to do anything that is like... A 14-year-old you trust. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and do it with them, like as yeah. a parent, right? And say, let's let's play around, because 14-year-olds are curious, and they want to mess with stuff. And this is a relatively benign way to do it. Now, obviously, could I, I could use this to seal your card key. But, but guys, this isn't exactly the most subtle... Could I change it away from sports at a bar? Yes. So it, that's why it has this, uh, it has infrared. So you could change the TV. It has NFC, so you, which is a, a form of RFID. So you could read NFC cards. You could actually, you could actually, you know, uh, hold it up to, well, I could do this with a credit card. Let me, let me see here. Hold up to a credit card and read some of the card information. Mm. Not sufficient pro... pro <laughs> Probably, Probably not, not sufficient, sufficient. <laughs> to uh, steal that credit card. I mean, let what me not the... show the card number yeah, here, but, I'll sh camera. but I will uh, I will read the credit card here, put it over the chip, and I'm going to read it. And I'm wondering, RFID cards in uh, passports or not? I no, mean, those are, okay, kind of so this is important. Those are encrypted. Okay. That's actually a great question because it does have RFID in it, but those are encrypted. And so Flipper can read it, but it'll get an encrypted result. Got it. Which is basically useless. Uh, you need to have the key. So you can't look at, there are hacker tools out there, plenty of them that will do all of this better. Let's put it that way. But this is a great way for a kid or an adult to learn about some of the things. You could use it for pen testing. People have used it to change the price on gas station uh, but it doesn't change it on the pump. It just changes it on the sign because oh. the sign is like a TV. It's like remote control. Okay, the gotcha. guy, the guy behind the counter goes, oh, I'm going to increase the price. So if it's an electronic sign, you can, in some cases, use it to change the price. Little things, little, little pranks. So I've got infrared GPI. Now let's try this bad USB. This is actually a good lesson. Oh God. Where is he going to plug this it This is in? a good lesson. So normally with bad USB, we've talked about this before with bad USB. Uh, you would uh, put this on a USB key and then leave it, uh, they call it a candy drop in the parking lot. Somebody would find it, oh, look, I got a free USB key, and plug it in. And the way bad USB works, by the way, can't be wiped even by erasing the USB key, is it acts like a keyboard, and as soon as you plug it in the computer, it activates. So let's, let me just, uh, you could put stuff on here. I, I wouldn't want to put a payload. Uh, so I'm going to just do the uh, demo for Windows. Okay. All right. Okay. Now it says connect to USB. You see, it's not very stealth. Right. In this right? form, it's this not is, stealth. This is, this is, I think, almost learning. educational. I yeah. think a high school teacher should get this. 
Let me plug this in. Now, this is why you don't, kids, plug in <laughs> random, <laughs> random USB drives. keys. Yeah. So I plugged it in. Let's see. Okay, now I'm going to run. And now it's uploading. And look at my, watch my screen. Oh, wow. It's doing stuff. It's doing stuff. A lot of stuff. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. So oh, this is terrifying. just by plugging in. Now it's like moving the page. Yeah. So obviously the payload could be benign like this, or it could be, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Did it just like download a file? Join Hackster. Yeah, it just opened this page. So it could obviously do other things, like put a, a malicious pay payload in there. This is why you don't do USB keys you found lying around. So that we did a demo, and you'll see, actually, if I unplug it, you'll see it said it did 100. Well, I guess it's, it's cleared it. But it's 100% it, it loaded uh, of this demo. Uh -huh. Do the same thing on a Mac. Uh, you know, I, I, maybe I'll put Doom on it uh, for, the, for the next show. I didn't really want to spend all that energy, but you can play Doom on it. Have you tried uh, <laughs> using it with a fob for a vehicle? Okay. I was about to. One of the things I was going to demo is me stealing my own car. Okay. And then Russell, our IT guy, said, D whatever you do, do not do that. <laughs> so the reason is m most of the time on a modern, on older cars, this would work, right? Uh -huh. In fact, I tried to steal your car, but you wouldn't let me. So on older cars, this would work. But on my more modern car, they do rolling codes. And if they sense that somebody is feeding back, it's doing what they call a replay attack, feeding back an old rolling code, they deactivate the fob. Got it. They deactivate the whole thing. It's shut down. You got to take it to the dealer. So it'll be a whole deal. And a new fob is a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. So I didn't, I mean, maybe I could, but I didn't want to take a it. chance. Yeah. Russell said, you know, maybe think twice. Yeah. Uh, I'll just take it as red that you could do this. It does do rolling codes. So for instance, garage door openers, which use rolling codes. And there are more, and this is the point. You can go right now to a website and download for buy a rubber ducky, which is a USB key with bad USB on it. Mm -hmm. uh, you can buy devices that will do all those rolling codes. You can buy all sorts of stuff. You remember the stories about Kia and Hyundai being so easy to steal. This stuff is easily found on many, many sites and can be sold legally. It's illegal to use it to hack, but the devices are electronic devices that can be sold legally. This is sold legally. But what I think is, is is educational device. I think this is a very good way for somebody who's curious about what things, because this is, look, this is doesn't, you know, I'm not going to carry this around and try to break into <laughs> right, stuff. Right. I'm certainly not going to do it with a, you know, one of those mayhem hats on there. It's very obvious. Yeah, what does something's that going have? on. That's not cool, man. But, uh, oh, yeah, you know, for instance, I could go to a hotel more modern hotel card keys don't aren't prone to this. But the next time I'm at a hotel, I'm going to try this because I think you can also get into somebody's hotel room with mm -hmm. that. That's now right. That's not right to do that. Don't do that. Um, but if it's your own hotel room and you're just curious how easy it is to clone a hotel yeah, room key, it's good to know for this yourself. Is good to know. Like, oh wow, I didn't realize. That's why they call it a simple. pen test device because it's a way of testing the security. And honestly, anything that you can hack with a Flipper Zero has very poor security and should be updated, mm -hmm. right? Like your car keys, like your hotel room key, things like that. Anyway, it was for 169 bucks. It's loads of fun. Better than X-ray specs. So <laughs> that is the the flipper. Or a Dakota ring. <laughs> the flipper zero. I might buy some hats. I might play around yeah, with that'd it. Yeah, that'd be fun. Add it's an educate, And that's what I kind of mean. It's a little expensive to give to a 14-year-old. And I wouldn't give it to him unsupervised anymore than I'd give him a laser. Right. Unsupervised, yeah. right? But what a great learning thing. And this might be the kind of thing that could trigger a kid. I want to learn more about this. Yep. And uh, and I want to learn more about coding, and maybe I want to learn more about cybersecurity. And I think that's cool, right? Flipper Zero. There you go. Awesome. I, I can now break in as Micah. Yes. Oh, no, I didn't use that, yours. You didn't I use mine. mine. I'm keeping it hidden. In a that's vault. actually good to know because, for instance, we don't do this, but I know whose card key was used to enter the building. Right. If I wanted to murder John Ashley, I would use your card key. And then murder And him. I would say I was never there. Yeah. Right. It was Micah who did the shots. Running. <laughs> so he's Thank you here. to John Ashley for helping me by the way. It was, he was, uh, he was the one shooting me as I, as I, oh, so he was murdering you. He was shooting you. Where'd my flipper zero go? Right now. Where'd it go? <laughs> no, just kidding.
Kind of cool, isn't very it? Very cool. Yeah. And I, I think uh, it was a very successful Kickstarter. They raised millions of dollars and they did it. And yeah, you know, one of the things you could do is make a universal remote with it. Mm -hmm. I like that idea of changing the channel. Kind of fun. A, yeah. You can bar. go into a bar and silence TVs or yeah, change them to, a, to ESPN. Yeah.